Hey guys, it's Hey guys, it's me and Weston again with the for the dogs. I'm pretty sure it's called or podcast or whatever you guys call it nowadays. Mm-hmm. Um, so today we're still doing the topics. We're still not sponsored or fortunately, and we always have to put them in our videos, I guess. So Weston's going to start us off with a few couple questions. All right, and answers. You must move to another country for the rest of your life. Which country do you choose and why? Oh, this is a tough one. Honestly, though, I haven't looked at a lot of countries, but... I don't know. Probably move to Canada. It's nice there. Mm-hmm. But it's not very... It's not densely populated, which is nice. You know, I don't have to deal with people. But th- it's going to suck when it's winter because it just snows so heavily down there or up there. Yeah, I like that answer. How often do you lose things? And have you ever lost, th- lost something important? Yes. I always lose things every time because other than one time I just leave stuff around and poof, that disappeared. So I'm not going to have memory where I put my stuff at. And I lost my car keys. I couldn't go anywhere for a couple of weeks, and they were under my bed. That's I'm good. I'm actually in my bed because I don't like to explain it, but it's somewhere nearby my bed. Would you rather spend time in the city or in nature? In nature, I don't have. The city is just way too fast for me. Too loud. Too many things going on. Mm -hmm. How often do you greet and say goodbye to your friends and family? I give my friends some kisses. Why not? I actually don't hug them or anything. I say goodbye, but that's it. Same for my parents. Sometimes I just hug my mom. Never hug my dad. It's just weird. Do you have many friends or a few close friends? I have a few close friends. It's nicer to having them. Having two friends instead of having many friends. What animal are you scared of? Any encounters? I'm scared of rattlesnakes. Those things are like really fast and they can just kill you too. Why not? No. Yeah. But actually, yeah, but they were dead back in Texas. Be careful out there. You have can have ten million today, or have five healthy years added to your life. Honestly, right now I have ten mil because I can just do whatever I want with that. And make sure my future is ahead. But later on in life, I'm probably gonna want five healthy years added to my life. Which, honestly, that does sound pretty good, but I would rather take the 10 mil right now or the five healthy years. This Texas is going to be crazy, my guy. But it's going to be worth it, though. When does time seem to pass more slowly or quickly for you? Um, times to seem to, time seems to pass quickly when I'm doing something and I'm busy all the time. It goes slowly when I'm doing nothing and... Yeah. Pretty much that's it. Honestly, for me, though, whenever I'm busy, yeah, time just goes by like that. Yep, it goes fast. Yeah. Well, people say keep it, keep yourself busy, I guess. If you don't want... Never mind, keep going. Well, for me, it, time goes pretty fast when I'm with friends. We just have a good time, and, you know, we just get out of hand a little bit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, time goes fast when I'm with friends mostly, but I got work on the farm, so that's when it usually goes by pretty fast. I think I'm out there for about half an hour. I've been out there for about an hour and a half.
Are you more of an introvert or an extrovert? What are some examples? I'm uh, mostly an introvert. I don't really like going out. I don't really like dealing with people. People got too many problems these days. Yeah. Okay. Do the years seem to pass more quickly as we grow older and why? So I think we, yeah, I think the years go by quicker because we're almost graduating. I think probably say 54 weeks till we graduate. I mean, days, not weeks. <laughs> oh, that's almost another year. No, thank yeah. you. Um, so, yep, it felt like we barely started school a couple of days ago, but yeah. we're almost out. Kind of fun. Woo! I'm trying to get out of this. Oh. Two more tomorrow. Two more? All right. What kind of driver are you? Relaxed, anxious, irritable, cautious? He's a crazy driver. Watch out when he's Oh, yeah, I'm crazy, dude. Like oh, I said, yeah. when he's driving, get out the road because he's going to crash you somehow. <coughs> Even though it's not safe to drive, he's going to crash into you. I'm Come not going to crash into you, but if I'm on a dirt yeah, road sure and there's nobody there, I'm going to be crazy. It's I'm going to be doing going burnouts and a whole bunch of stuff that I should not mention. <laughs> He's definitely crashing. Okay. I'm not going to crash into you. I'm trying. Sure. Are you forgetful or do you tend to remember details like names and dates and etc.? So, fun fact, I kind of forget my classmates' names and they're always with me 24-7. Not 24-7. Eight hours of a day. So, I'm not trying to do math right now, so. Yeah, pretty much. So, I'm sometimes forgetful, but when something I have to remember, I can practice it over my head a lot so I can remember it. Yeah. But I try to forget some people's names. Okay. Here you go. Hmm? Oh, my oh. turn. I thought you were going to still keep on talking here. No. I do forget a lot of things. A lot. I keep the commemorates in my head. Up. Last Where's round, people. This is going to be our last round before we have to do stuff. What was the most fun or exciting time you had in your life? Uh, that's a hard one, but honestly, it's just going to be hanging out with friends, family, have fun hanging out with my dad. It's pretty funny hanging out with him in the tractor when working. He's, he, he makes it enjoyable. What tests your patience and how do you deal with it? My little brother. Oh, my. Sometimes I just want to choke him out and throw him out the window. <laughs> He's just a kid. He doesn't know too much about growing up stuff, I guess. Or how do I make it so it doesn't sound appropriate? Um, he's still trying to learn what's good and what's bad. So I try my best to show him what's good and what's bad, and what not to get and what to get from my room. Yeah, some things are valuable. 